In the last video, we went about setting up our models. If you probably noticed in there, we kind of repeated some of the fields in two of our models. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over abstract base models and create our own so we can abstract some of our common model fields out into a single model and then we can just inherit from that for all of our other future models that we need to use that in. First though, let's go ahead and run a make migrations on our existing applications and our models. The first thing it does is it creates our initial activities and gear migrations for those models. Just as a reminder, if we look in our activities model and also our gear model, you'll see the gear model has the distance, distance units, and the choices for distance units. The same thing with activity. Instead of repeating both of these, we want to move them again off into an abstract model. You could potentially do this with a mix-in, but that wouldn't necessarily always make sense from a conceptual level, so we're going to move them into an abstract base model. To do that, we're going to create a new app called Core. This is kind of a convention that you can use. I've seen it used in some places where you kind of put all of your business logic in there or things that go in your application, and you don't really have another place to put them. They don't really fit in any one particular application, so you can kind of just put it in the core. So in this case, we're going to put our distance model in our core application. We'll open up our model and we'll just first start by creating a class distance model. Inherit from models.model. Then we'll go into our model and do a meta class and do abstract equals true. This says that this is always going to be an abstract class and we can't actually instantiate this as a new class and use this like normal. Also, when we run our migrations, it's going to see that this is abstract and it's not going to try to create a migration specifically for the distance model. So it can only strictly be used as a model to be inherited from, similar to a time-stamped model that we use quite frequently. And then to show another level of abstraction, we're going to add a method to this called calculate distance. I'll explain more about this later, but it takes a distance and it converts it to the miles unit. Later we're going to expand on it and cover it in more in depth. So now we actually want to add the common fields that we're going to use. In this case, if we'll open up our activities model and go ahead and import from model utils our choices class, since that's what we use in our activities models file, next thing we want to do is copy the distance fields and we'll go ahead and put those in our distance model. Another useful one that would be in our distance model would be is our total elevation gain as well because it deals with the distance. In this case, it's the distance that we go up. So we can go ahead and copy that over. And so that means we've removed it from our activity model and so we can go ahead and close that one out. If we'll jump into our gear model, we'll go ahead and remove the distance fields as well. And we don't need the choices import anymore, so let's go ahead and remove that. So now, when we run migrations, we see, hey, it removes all of those fields. It removes the distance, distance unit, total elevation gain, and total elevation gain unit. This isn't actually what we want, but I wanted to show this to you to show that at this point, they're removed from there. If we ran the migrations, it would be removed. So if we'll go ahead and delete those migrations, and then open up our models again, we can import from our core.models our distance model and then just inherit from our distance model in both our activity model and our gear model. So now that we've done that, we're actually ready to run our migrations again. And if you'll notice, it doesn't delete anything. In fact, it is actually adding our total elevation gain and our total elevation gain unit. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and do one final look at all of our models and take a look at our inheritance of our distance model. If we'll open up the shell and create a new gear object, we do gear.dist, and then we do tab for tab completion. You see we have our distance and distance unit. Do the same thing for total elevation gain and total elevation unit. You can see we have our inherited fields just like we would normally expect. And then we also have our calculate distance method on our model that we inherited from. So it has everything in there just like a base class you would expect. So with that, that's how you can simply 
move some of your common fields out into a base model and as you've noticed it actually didn't change anything in the migrations except for adding the new fields that needed to be added. So you can actually go around and do some shuffling around as long as the model fields stay the same. The migrations in the database don't know any difference in your code being changed. So with that I hope you will join us next time as we start getting data from Strava and actually saving it into our models.